What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a spectacular day. Okay, I am on my way to Broadway Dance Center to take my first jazz class in a year. Wild. So I figured I'd vlog it and let you know how I feel and how it goes. Um, subscribe so you can follow my journey. Also, stay tuned because when I get back from class, I'm going to tell you guys about a giveaway since we hit 500 subscribers. So I will see you guys and I hope you enjoy my first class back at Broadway Dance Center. with I haven't taken a jazz class in a year I can't breathe from hustling from my apartment up the subway stairs to class so lol to see how this goes I just walked past Moulin Rouge and there's no one <laughs> which is just horrible I haven't really been in Midtown this entire time um, I've kind of avoided it so I don't know how I'm feeling I'm taking Billy's class and I love taking Billy's class but I don't know how I feel I feel indifferent. It's like I'm not excited, but I'm not like sad. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. So update on <laughs> first class, first jazz class in person in a year. Here we go. So we had to fill out a health form, a temperature scan, and uh, check in in the front. And it's also just so weird, like, there's nobody around. Like, everyone's alone. Man, what a time we're living through, huh? This is crazy. Okay, honestly, I thought I was gonna hate it, but it was actually pretty great. I took Billy Griffin's class, and uh, I don't know. I love the, um, sorry, I'm under the Moulin Rouge canopy. I love the uh, <clears throat> bigness of like 70 people in a room, but there were like 12 of us and there was no judgment. Everyone was just happy to be dancing in a studio space. Fun combo. I didn't do as bad as I thought. Like, when I tell you I haven't taken a jazz class, I think the last class I took was in June and it was in my basement and it was a Ricky Hines combo. I haven't taken a jazz class in a year. Um, so I feel great and I really forgot that I miss dancing. I kind of just like let it be, but I miss it. Okay, I'm back in my apartment. I'm sopping wet because it's raining. And honestly, it's the first time I've broken a sweat. Like, <laughs> like, oh my God. Um, yeah, so I think I went in a little like skeptical because if I'm going to be honest, the like vibe at BDC pre-pandemic was not my favorite. Hi. The pre-pandemic, the vibe at Broadway Dance Center was not my my scene. I only went to take like specific teachers. I like the vibe of steps because I like just going to train and it, I don't need to be on camera. And you know, that's pre-pandemic. Again, you do you. But um, I teach Tuesday, Thursday and the people that I want to take at steps teach Tuesday, Thursday. So I can't go. So I love Billy. Billy's is a great class. And he started, he starts each class like centering and just like being grateful for like anything in your life. Um... 
yeah, he just, I really like him and his energy. So it was a great class. Um, I, I didn't really talk about how you get there. So, so the thing, the, the, the crappy thing right now is I think there's like 12 slots. So we were in studio one, depending on the studio size, I think they can have more people, but so there were 12 slots, 10 to 12 slots. Um, so you, uh, you have to sign up. So you have the Broadway dance center app and you sign up. It's like three days. They release the class three days early at 12.01. So basically you have to be on your phone at midnight to sign up for class. I was on the wait list. I think I was number one on the wait list. And then I got into the class, I think yesterday, the day before. Um, so that's the only annoying part, which like I get because they can't be at full capacity. So it's kind of like, if anybody can relate to signing up for an EPA where you're like in the queue, that's kind of like what it's like. It's, uh, it's you know, the Hunger Games. And the more people that come back to New York, it's going to be diff more difficult. So it's the only, like, negative, but they, you have to understand they can't open at full capacity. Um, that being said, so you sign up, at the, and their app is pretty user-friendly. You sign up, you click, um, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't see. You click in studio, and then you just go on that day, and you can sign up. The other thing that is kind of annoying, which, like, again, I understand it's pandemic, but the class was $22.00. And um, so if you're part of Actors' Equity, normally your class is 18. So I had to pay $22, which I get. But at the same time, I'm like, dancers haven't worked in a year plus. So I don't know. I mean, like, I would love to take multiple classes a week. But like, financially, I just don't know. Um, that being said, I had a great time. My body did okay. And like, here's the thing, you guys. Like, I haven't taken a dance class, like a jazz class in a year, and I think I said that when I was walking home. Like, I just haven't been motivated. There's no space in my apartment. I don't wanna pay for a studio and then pay $15 for a live stream. Like, it's just, that's just not what I wanted to be doing. Now, that being said, there's something in my eye. That being said, um, I have been teaching tap both semesters, or like for the entire year. I've been teaching tap, and I taught three classes last semester twice a week, and I taught four classes this semester twice a week. So like, I have been physically active and dancing, I just haven't been kicking. Um, and I didn't do too bad. There was a right kick, a left kick, and a double turn. Didn't do too bad. My back's a little sore, I can feel it already. And my like, joints hurt a little bit. Um, but that also could be because it's raining. But yeah, I feel great. I'm like grateful that they're opening. I'm grateful that I'm in the city. I like can't imagine like this whole thing has just flipped dancers and performers lives upside down. Um, and so it was just nice to be in a studio and take class with other people and vibe out with the energy of other people. And so I, I think I'm going to keep going back. I'm going to try to do at least once a week if I can to get back in shape. Hi. But yeah, but, so the big announcement, we reached 500 subscribers! <laughs> so, that being said, I'm gonna do a giveaway, and I have to go get the product to show it to you. Okay, so we reached 500, we reached, we reached 500 subscribers, which, listen, on the grand scheme of YouTube is not that much, but to me, it really means a lot. So, I'm doing a giveaway. Um, today is a Monday, so the cutoff for the giveaway will be Sunday, April. Hi! Cricket? The giveaway will end um, Sunday, April 18th, and I'll announce the winner on Monday the 19th. All you have to do, if you haven't done it already, is subscribe to my channel and comment um, sand and sky. So if you guys have watched my previous videos, I can link that video here. Um, I am partnered with sand and sky. It is an Australian like skincare company and they sent me a free product, which I already have one of. It's the Australian pink clay mask. Haven't opened it. It's in the package. So I'm going to be giving away that and their bamboo cleaning pads, um, which is really good to take your makeup off with. So um, I also have a discount code for sand and sky. That'll go right here. You can use uh, this code to get 10% off any of your purchases. But yeah, so I'm gonna do a giveaway for 500 subscribers, and then we're gonna do another giveaway if we hit 1,000 subscribers and all of the big marks. So I really appreciate everybody tuning into my channel. I took a little bit of a week off yes yesterday. I took a little bit of a week off last week. It, I just had a lot going on, and I was just feeling bleh. But we're back. We're out, we're dancing. I'm gonna document if auditions happen, like we're on the up and up with New York City coming back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe. I will put the details for the giveaway in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next video.